started talking before I hit record. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys. Um, so I've got a little bit of a different video for you guys today. Um, if you're new to the channel, I'm Adrian, and Kiwi is... He's over there. I don't know what he's doing. Um, so, uh, I know that my channel is usually about crochet and yarn content. Um, but a little while back, I did a video called My Smallest um, Long-Term Project. Or my my littlest or shortest something like that something like that I'll link that video up here in the corner if anybody wants to watch it um, but it does pertain to the um, little haul that I have here um, to show you guys so um, some of you may or may not know before I started crocheting regularly I used to do um, off loom bead weaving um, using like the peyote stitch and the square stitch, um, mess stitch, and what it is is it uses little tiny seed beads and very thin beading thread and very, very thin needles. Um, and you make items that look like they were woven on like a beading loom, but instead you're actually making them with a needle and thread. Um, and the biggest reason that I don't do that as much anymore, um, at, well, actually at all, I don't do the bead we the, the off loom bead weaving at all anymore, um, is because of Kiwi. He is my little buddy, and he will eat the seed beads. Um, and so I don't, you know, and, and, and these, these are like extremely long-term projects, you know. So they're sitting out, you know, on the table and, and whatnot, and he can get into them. So I don't do the off-loom bead weaving anymore. Um, now, occasionally, I will do something called crochet beaded rope, which is what that video pertains to. Um, and I am on a yarn band right now. So, um, I didn't buy beads, but I'm still obsessed with uh, shiny, pretty objects. <laughs> so... I didn't buy beads, but it, or I didn't buy yarn, but I did buy beads, you know, because I'm on that whole yarn band thing. Um, I didn't get very many um, because it doesn't take much to make some bracelets. Um, so these, this purchase came from a place called artbeads.com, which is one of my favorite places to purchase beads from. Um... If anybody is interested, um, let's see, it's got a coupon code on the back. Um, it doesn't say whether or not, I guess it doesn't, I guess they don't mind if I get, if I share it out. Um, anyway, so if you guys are interested in learning how to do the, um, crochet beaded rope. I do have a tutorial and you can pick up some beads from artbeads.com and you can use this coupon code for 10% off um, their entire site. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this is uh, you know like a one time use thing per account or what uh, but it, it's it's just the coupon code that they sent me with my order. And I, this is the first order I've made in a very long time, in a couple of years. So, um, let me show you the beads that I got. So, I got three um, designer blends. And I will link all of the information for all of these down below if anybody is interested in, in them. Um, so... 
This is called an Art Beads Designer Blend, and it is called Gray Flannel, and these are Toho Rounds, size 11 seed beads. These are about the size that you would get for the little, uh, the little seed beads at Walmart. These are about the same size, except these are a little bit better quality. Um, the Toho brand, you know, the beads are more uniform and they sit better when you go to make your crochet rope. Um, and so this is lots of shades of gray. And this one too will probably make, I don't know, if I had to guess, I would say maybe two bracelets, three bracelets, somewhere's right around in there. Um, and they are very well packaged. Um, the designer blends came in wrapped in these uh, styrofoam things, plus the envelope is also padded. Um, the second designer blend is called Classic Wedding, um, and it is also Toho. I don't know if I'm saying that. Um, the, 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 and see, this is what the designer blends that I used to get used to look like. They came in these little triangle tubes, um, but that is mostly silvers and whites. And then, um, the other one that I got is called Cream Brulee, and... This was the last one of this color that they had. Um, like I said, all three of these are 11 aught beads or size 11 beads, and they are all Toho brand. But I did get a few others that are a different brand that I've never tried before. So this is what they called cream blue cream brulee. I don't know if the colors are going to show up. Um, I hope they do, but this one has some golds in it. Um, I thought that both of them would be good for, um, you know, like making some crochet beaded bracelets, even that, that were kind of wedding themed. Um, <clears throat> I, I really hope they show up <laughs> in the video after I adjust the, the, uh, you know, colors and stuff because I, I have to do that with my camera that a lot of times I I have to adjust the colorway or the colorway the camera settings and whatnot after I've already filmed so um this package has I love purple. Purple is just such an awesome color. It's like opening a Christmas present. Um, so this pet package has a different brand of seed beads in it. Um, And if you guys are interested in learning how to do crochet beaded rope, I will leave uh, a link to my tutorial up here as well. Um, or maybe I could put it in the card at the end of the video. Um, so, for these colors, I actually got two tubes because I wasn't sure how many of the... How, how many beads I would need to do the crochet rope. Uh, these are Starman Matubo uh, 10 aught seed beads. They are slightly, slightly smaller than these other ones. Um, but this is called a Luster Metallic Pink. So I got these to do... Um, you know, like a solid colored bracelet. Um, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing the brand right, by the way, guys. Um, these, again, are, you know, they're, they're higher quality than the seed beads that you would get at 
Walmart, the beads are a little bit, you know, they're, they're more uniform. When you crochet with them, they sit like bricks, just do, do, do on top of each other without there being any wonkiness or, um, you know, they're just a, a better quality. Um, this one is opaque rose gold. And again, the stats are the same. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, little tiny glass beads. Um, and then the last color that I got, I didn't want to spend too much because I'm shouldn't be spending anything right now. Um, but at the same time, I, I wanted to, uh, this one is called Lester Opaque Green. I feel like it looked more green in the picture than what it did. Um, but I didn't want to spend too much, but I, I do feel like I'd like to get back into making more of the crochet seed bead bracelets. Um, hopefully you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can even tell that that's green. <laughs> um, so that was my little, um, seed bead haul, I guess you can say, or my art beads haul. Um, I don't expect to have any of these bracelets finished within the next couple of months. Um, because I do want to finish up some whips before I get into making these. Um, but also during, uh, during my Timu order, you guys might have seen that, uh, I had bought some bead caps that these bracelets are what those are for. Um, I don't know. It's just something that I want to get back into. See, because of the way that you do... Uh, crochet bead rope. I don't have to worry too much about um, kiwi getting into the beads because the beads are already threaded on to the yarn and so he can't just like steal one and swallow it. Um, <laughs> if he does that he's going to be swallowing the thread or the yarn that I'm using too and Granted, that could cause some problems, but I don't think he's going to do it if it's attached to the thread already. He, he occasionally seems a little frightened of yarn and thread. I'm not really sure why, um, because he's been around it for five years, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I thought I would show you guys that, um, you know, uh, nothing major. Um, like I said, I, I'll link this um all this stuff down below i only spent like twenty dollars um and i think that was i think it was like 22 something after shipping uh on all of this and this is enough to make two four six at least nine or ten bracelets and that may be an underestimation um i i, I may be underestimating a great deal um I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, I, I didn't really spend too much and it gives me something to look forward to do after I finish all of the whips because I'm, that is goal number one. Finish up like 95% of my whips before starting anything new. I've got all these plans, like all of these plans for this year, but Number one is to finish up some whips. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to let you go for now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, maybe keep an eye out for, um, you know, when I start working with these seed beads. Um, I Like I said, I already have a tutorial on how to do crochet bead rope, if anybody is interested. Um you can find, uh, I'll, I'll link these colors, exactly these colors, if they're still available. If they're not sold out, well, then my bad. Uh, but I'll, I'll put all that information in the description box if you're interested in learning how to do crochet beaded rope bracelets. Um, and then I will, yeah, have all that stuff. Um, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, please give my video a thumbs up and um, maybe drop a comment below. Um, it helps, you know, with the uh, 
algorithm people or you know whatever whatever they call it it helps with the algorithm um and uh i guess i will see you guys in uh in my next video bye guys Thank you.